you wind it up here, and once you get to a certain tension on it, let the brake go, and once it gets going, it's like any other, you know, secondhand shop. Uh, one man's trash is another's treasure. So, I mean, we buy just such a wide variety of things and we sell them at a discounted price so somebody can come in and get a fantastic deal on something. A wood, together, like mounted together. Well, uh, I've been doing business with Mike for about two years now. And uh, I came down here to pawn a few of my things so I can pay for my wedding. Whether it's jewelry, artwork, musical equipment, uh, we just we deal with just a wide variety of different items. Getting married in three months. I bought a ring here last week. Huh? So much fun to pick up an old instrument that you know is like for instance, in, in an old like 50s or 60s Gibson Les Paul, and just to know that there's probably a lot of history with that. You, know, you never know where a guitar's been. It might be on a record you've heard on the radio, for all you know. People can go onto Craigslist. People can go onto Let Go. People can go on um, to eBay, and they can sell their merchandise straight to another customer without come, having to come through us. So uh, it's definitely taken away a bit of the business. Do you mm -hmm. have an internet business? I guess it was probably the CPU, but they couldn't handle Battlefield. I, uh, I posted it on Craigslist, but it didn't get any hits. Didn't feel like doing the eBay thing, <laughs> so. I guess the business took a new direction 10, 10 11 years ago. It went more about making the loans rather than making the money on the sales. I think the average loan in the United States for a pawn shop is $150. So I know the average loan for my one store is 120, the other one's 140. So on that we do a 20% loan. So if you borrow $100, it's $120 to come and pick up your loan. This is a personality thing for me. I want to talk to the people that I'm actually buying products from. I don't want something off the line. Then it gets to my house, it's not exactly what I want. Well, yeah, it's sort of kind of like that. I'm a second generation pawn shop owner. Uh, my father opened our first store about 30 years ago. My mother was an antique dealer. She started dealing in antiques in England. We moved here to the United States and I just grew up with it. <laughs> 